He touched the lives of many for decades in Southside and beyond. And Window Scott's legacy continues to live on in many ways. Brooke Leonard has more on the Window Scott Foundation's latest effort. It was a centennial birthday for the books. As hundreds of Buffalo soldiers all over the nation flocked to Danville to celebrate the life and legacy of Wendell Scott. We do this is my grandfather's centennial birthday weekend. He, he would be 101 on Monday. Um, and so we re released a Wendell Scott Legacy Trail that can be found on all the app stores and it highlights and showcases different strategic locations about my grandfather throughout the South Side region. As word traveled from South Side to the national headquarters, National Secretary Reginald Marable knew what they had to do. This was something that we really wanted to be a part of, so uh, national presidents dispatched everybody out, and we're here to celebrate Wendell Scott's 101st birthday. The ride highlights pieces and places of Wendell Scott's life, telling a story that Southside President Calvin Harrell says aligns with the Buffalo Soldiers' mission. Keeping history alive and stuff, you know, uh, a lot of African Americans did good things in the community. He's one of those, one of the first to win a NASCAR major series and stuff, you know. And as with the Buffalo Soldiers, starting out in 1866, uh, all black regiments and everything. It's just good to try to keep the history alive and educate people out there in the community. The first stop on the ride was a place that is cherished in the Scott family. Literally the home house, the garage, the garage where Scott racing took place, where it all happened, um, is where we grew up. Um, and so we'll have a chance to bring the Buffalo Soldiers and the attendees of the ride. We'll have a chance to bring them to the garage to see where we lived and where we worked and where we created the magic all those years in NASCAR. Writers were met with pieces of history that chronicled Wendell Scott's struggle and triumph. My grandfather's legacy is one of the greatest sports, sports stories in all of American history. I mean, this is our way of continuing to move that ball forward and continuing to expose people to our true legacy. In Danville, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports.